With an intraocular lens, the magic of sight returns. Light, colors and form that were dull and vague become fresh and sharp. Quality of life is transformed as a faded and obscure world is made clear. Rayner, the manufacturer of the world's first intraocular lens, is proud to present Centerflex, an injectable acrylic lens. Centerflex is an injectable acrylic IOL, manufactured from Ray Acryl, a hydrophilic acrylic material, at our lens production facility in Hove, England. Centerflex is a Rayner patented design, which has been developed to provide maximum stability and centration. The overall diameter of the lens is 12 millimeters, and this can reduce to 9.5 millimeters with haptic compression. The unique haptic design incorporates Rayner's patented AVH technology, which has been fashioned to resist an excessive or asymmetrical capsular contraction. This provides the benefit of increasing support for the lens as the capsule contracts. The optic body diameter of 5.75 millimeters has been chosen to facilitate the ease of implantation with the Rayner injector system whilst maintaining optimal optical performance. The Rayner Centerflex lens also incorporates the latest thinking in square edge optic design. For the implantation of the Centerflex lens the cataract is removed using phaco emulsification. Following cortical cleanup, the lens can be inserted using either folding and insertion forceps or by using the Rayner injection system, as seen here. The Rayner injector can be used with a 3mm to 3.6mm incision, depending on technique. With the Rayner injection system, the lens can be injected straight into the capsular bag. As the lens emerges from the injector tip, the leading haptic gently unfurls into the bag. This is followed by the optic body and trailing haptic, which can be easily placed with the tip of the spring-loaded plunger over the capsular hexis rim. Once the residual ray visc, Rayner's viscoelastic product, has been removed, spontaneous centration of the lens can be visualized. Within seconds, the compression lines caused by the injection process disappear as the lens fully hydrates. In this next footage, we first see the lens loading process. A suitable viscoelastic, such as Ravic, is used as well as a balanced salt solution to lubricate the lens to ensure a smooth movement of the lens in the cartridge during insertion. The lens is then removed from the packaging and placed as shown on the cartridge. The Centerflex lens is biconvex equiconvex and the haptics are planar. Therefore the lens can be inserted in any configuration without problems. However, if the surgeon wishes to dial the lens clockwise, then the lens should be placed into the cartridge as shown here in an inverted S configuration. The lens is then folded over the ridge of the cartridge and the wings are closed, being careful to ensure that haptics are not captured between the wings. The footage here shows how the design of Centerflex makes this easy to achieve with little manipulation required. The cartridge is then inserted into the injector and the plunger is slowly depressed pushing the lens forward ready for injection. Once the cartridge has been inserted through the wound, the plunger can be slowly depressed and the lens starts to emerge. This footage gives an excellent demonstration of the lens entering the capsular bag and also shows clearly the design feature of a square optic edge. The lens should move progressively. If too much resistance is felt, the spring-loaded plunger tip can be withdrawn from the lens and then reapplied.
This allows the lens to relax and ensures the lens is not overstressed during the injection process. Again, the residual viscoelastic is removed. Here, a superbly centrated lens is observed. The initial overall diameter of the lens of 12 millimeters allows for sufficient compression to generate the necessary centration forces within the haptics. This force is created by a spring-like resistance of the haptic to the shrinking capsular bag. Under normal capsular contraction, the lens behaves in a similar way to any other Rayner bihaptic design. The haptics provide support to the optic and provide a progressive resistance to the capsular contraction, ensuring the lens stays well centrated and stable. If the capsule's equatorial diameter contracts to 10 millimeters, a further contraction is prevented in one meridian by an interference of one part of the haptic with an adjacent part. Along this meridian, asymmetrical capsular contraction is subsequently prevented. The spring-like resistance of the haptic is then stiffened by a new bending fulcra created by the haptic's interference with an adjacent part. This extra stiffness allows for some further contraction of the capsule along the adjacent meridians and has the effect of preventing the contraction force along the 10 mm meridian reaching a level sufficient to buckle the haptic. Ultimately, under severe capsular contraction, the haptic ends will reach the lens body, at which time the IOL is deformed in profile to an approximately oval or elliptical shape, which is resistant to any residual twisting and buckling forces likely to be applied by the capsule. Now a final look at the injection of the Centiflex lens into the capsular bag. Again, the square edge can be clearly seen as the lens unfurls through the capsular hexis. The benefit of the spring-loaded injector tip is demonstrated here as it is used to ensure the trailing haptic is placed in the bag. Finally, after viscoelastic removal, excellent centration of the lens can be observed.